So you want to know what contouring is all about. We put on foundations and powders and things to eliminate all of the impurities of our skin, the things that we want to hide. We also diminish all the dimensions in our face. So that's why we're going to contour today to add those dimensions back in. Let's start with what you want to darken or hide. On this side of my face, I have darkened this by adding a darker color powder to my face. This is going to give my face more depth it's going to give it the illusion that it's skinnier. I also have it darkened all up in here. That helps to eliminate any extra forehead that you might be hiding um, with hair. Normally we pull it down a little bit, but if you uh, darken this up, then that helps. I also darken the jawline and the underneath here because that is basically where the shadows would pack. The lighter area brings out my jawbone. It's lighter right here, which makes my eyes pop just a little bit more. I'm keeping it light here and I'm keeping it all open and light here. Done this side of the dark, now let's do this. If you really want your contouring to pop, make sure you go in with a lighter shade color in the lighter spot. That will bring out the contouring even more. Check out how much my jawline pops just from adding that. Of course, you're going to blend it in. Um, we also want to go lighter on the bridge of the nose, a thin layer to make your bridge of your nose thinner, and then right underneath the eyes, really pull out all of that, get rid of any bags. But there's also a spot on your forehead. Now, this spot right here usually attracts light anyways, so we want to help it along by adding a little bit of the light. I also like to add lightness to here and here, but you will see that whenever I finish my makeup. You can also add the light color up above your lips to make your lips pop more. So that is how you contour when you're wearing full face. Now don't forget to blend it all. My contouring is complete, but if you want to add just a pop, a little extra pop of glam, you can grab any kind of highlighter or luminizer and add it in specific spots. So one of the places that I like to add it is right here on that forehead, right here, and I have a little bit of a cream, uh, cream luminizer that I'm using. And you can dab a little bit right there. I really like to use my fingers For noses, don't worry, we're going to blend it in, just straight down there. I also like to add that pop of color right on here to give that fuller eye look. That fuller eye look gives it off a youth, more youthful look. And then right here. One thing I will say is if you have any blemishes, you do not want to put this on the blemish. It will for real act like a highlighter to the blush. So just if you have a blush, that's fine. Check it out. Right here on the cupid's bow. And I even like to bring it right in here. So then it makes my chin look cool. Okay, let's blend it in. And that is the subtle art of contouring. Contouring makes more sense when your makeup is complete. So finish your makeup and slay the day.